Um, Trace Columbus and the, the Columbus um, Art Department have collaborated on a poster contest. So y'all may be familiar with some of the WBA posters and some sort of World War II posters that were inspiring patriotism. So the idea behind our poster contest is that um, we're inspiring patriotism. Our patriotism is about taking care of our resources, taking care of our trees and our environment. Um, and so George um, just jumped on that idea immediately and has sponsored this poster contest for two years. So if you don't mind, George, just a, a couple of words. No, uh, it's, 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 you know, it's awesome. I'm sure y'all have looked at this art and, and, and like I have, it's just been sort of amazed at it all. And, you know, I mean, for me, I mean, art used to be, you know, pretty much stick figures. And, you know, I really wasn't good at stick figures. And what really amazed me is every time I did a stick figure, of myself, I still came out of the way. How do you do that with a stick figure? Right? Okay, so you know, art has always been a big thing, and, and uh, uh, I guess before I want to thank, I just want to thank uh, Sally. I don't know where Sally is. I want to thank Hannah and CSU for putting the environment and really doing the work behind it, and also Trace Columbus for you know we go what's trending nowadays, right? When we go to a restaurant or something, you know you. Wine pairs with this, or this pairs with that. I don't know that there could be a better pairing than this art contest and the Wild and Scenic Contest. I mean, what a pairing. But what Trees, Land of Trees is all about, really, is that same type of pairing. Uh, because what sponsors, or what really one of the things that we've used to fund Land of Trees, is a book that Rachel and I, my wife, has wrote that's called Don't Be a Cow. And don't be a cow is exactly what Pam was just talking about. It's, you know, we look at the status quo, and we don't realize how often that we all fall into that category of being the status quo. And you know, I don't know if you've ever noticed that the cows have a tendency to follow one another around through a pasture, and they just really go about following one another, and that's what really the status quo is. And so don't be a cow is just a fun little metaphor because we're fun people and we like to have fun. Because I think we accomplish when we have fun. But it's to say, hey, I don't want to be part of the status quo. I want to be somebody different. And that's what the book Don't Be a Cow is. And we all struggle with it in times in life. And there's no better way to get back to being who you are and expressing yourself through art and through nature. Because, you know, when you get out there through all those traffic lights, and all the hustle and bustle of those office buildings, there's nothing that can calm you and bring you back to yourself better than nature. So it's just, a, it's just an honor for us to be able to sponsor this event because it really does bring the two things that's near, near and dear to our heart, and that's people self-expressing themselves and being who it is that they are in nature. So thank you for this opportunity.